Is the camera in focus for you, for me? Yes. Because this might be a byproduct of just the overall internet quality in here, which seems no, to be No, you, okay. you actually look really good for me right now. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. <laughs> I used moisturizer this morning. Mm. <laughs> what? On your what? face? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. Well, we're off to a raging start here at the uh, newly unlaunched yet already rebranded and renamed podcast that used to be called The Bubs Show, was almost going to be called The Bubs Cast, and got renamed to The Bubs Cult of Rec Show. And what I mean, is Rec is different than just recreation? Well, it's not recreation, it was never recreation. It was the cult of recreationalism. That's a mm -hmm. word. It's thoroughly made up, but it's a word. Are we here to yeah. do a podcast? We are here to do a podcast. <laughs> we're doing a podcast. We are. It's recording. Okay. So somewhere in here, we're going to say, ding, ding, ding. The cult of recreationalism brought to you by Bubs Naturals, starring your host, Nathan Morris. Yay! Yay! And yeah. Sean Lake. See, that's where the family feud notion should have played a bigger role. I'm sorry that that didn't take. Um, but yeah, here we go. So, mm -hmm. all right, setting the stage here. If I'm not mistaken, this brain baby of yours was born out of a global pandemic sounds weird and conspiratorial to me however apparently there was this period of time when a lot of us didn't leave our houses for a while um or we did and we just didn't talk about it and um and during that time i started hosting a boatload of instagram lives it was a brand new um rollout from instagram in 2020 and we were literally all kind of cooped up so I would check in with some of our influencers and professional athletes and just friends of the brand in various areas. I'll never forget like talking to Danny Way and Dan Giordano and Hillary Nelson, who a, was a close friend of the brand and like all these different personalities about what was happening in their world. So, you know, Danny was in Southern California and Dan Giordano was in New York and it was like a ghost town. What we realized in doing all of these early interviews was that it was great content. A lot of people tuned in and they became really fun conversations. And, you know, we realized over the years at Bubs, like, we just know a lot of really interesting, cool people. And so Nathan, you said, hey, Sean, quit doing all the Instagram lives every year. Let's switch to a podcast. I think what I said was, well, let's do both. And and here we are setting the stage for the future of the Cults of Rec podcast brought to you by Bubs, which is our kind of self-evident since we are the hosts of the show and producing the show and it's our show. So, yeah, it's basically the Bubs Cult of Rec show. There we go. Yeah. And my goal with that was um, nothing against Instagram Live, but you were doing those on there. They were great conversations, but they could only live on Instagram Live. And this way we can get to more people. So we're going to post this, whatever platform you listen to podcasts on, we're going to be on YouTube. We're going to clip out like important clips and all that, put it on like Instagram reels, um, TikTok. Once I get that login and redownload TikTok. Um, yeah. And then Are you and ready? that was, do what? Are you ready for TikTok? No, <laughs> too old for TikTok. <laughs> You're too old for TikTok. I, apparently, there's a gap though because my age demo loves TikTok. Apparently, there's this like forty plus crew that's all about TikTok. Like our ad sales person at our collagen company, we do a ton of work with. We've been working together for six years, and she's probably I don't know early sixties, and she hits me up and she's like, "Tell me you've watched this video on TikTok." And I'm like, I don't have TikTok. She's like, you're crazy. You got to get TikTok. I'm like, no, no, I don't. Um, but it's a thing. Apparently, not only the kids, but the kids' parents are all about the talk. Mm -hmm. That See, I just get it on Instagram two weeks later. So there you go. You get the filter with a little watermark <laughs> at the bottom. You don't feel like you're missing anything. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I'm good. 
Yeah, you're just not viral. Uh huh. I can live with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so part of doing this the way we're doing it is it's the show is brought to you by Bubs, but there's no you're not gonna, we're not going to be in the middle of a really cool interview. Someone's about to drop some real life important advice, and then all of a sudden we cut to an ad from State Farm. Um, we want whoa, whoa, to, to whoa, be... whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't say that. What if I choose to monetize <laughs> our podcast and I want to sell ads to TurboTax and Stripe and uh, give me a mattress company that's always popular on ads? Uh, athletic Greens. I can sell an ad to Athletic Greens. <laughs> you want to sell some vital ads on here? Ooh, I was going to say like LMNT. Like that might be a little awkward uh -huh. if, yeah. if I do a read for them. And I'm like, well, <laughs> this is the second best electrolyte out there. Because, um, you know, I, I, I do like the product. It's, it's nice. I could do that. Mm -hmm. um, a vital, I feel like, would be a non-compete. We'd probably have some language in our internal documents that would prevent me from selling out like that. Um, on a more serious note, here we are setting the stage for our very first episode, and we now have jingle music that we can cue and pause, and then it'll play. We have the Bubs Cult of Rec podcast, which is short for the Cult of Recreationalism, which is a definition that requires an entire conversation that we're not going to have today, but we will have it. What else? Like what, what else we got? Like, let's go. Episode one. Let's do this. I I guess. Do you want to talk about like kind of the, like we already kind of talked about the goal of the podcast? It's like we have a ton of cool friends who we want to share their stories, and this is just going to give us a broader audience to do that. Um, was yeah, it's it was weird. So, listener, we're kind of filming these out of order. <laughs> uh, we've got a few things. So what it's going to be when you first start listening to this, we're going to drop like three episodes all at once. And then we're going to drop every other week um, a podcast. Hopefully we get it. Hopefully well, we this get would, it. This could be the first podcast. So maybe they're not the listening one. out of order. It might be. It might be the second one. Maybe we come up with something uh, better. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. That's true. This, no, this could be a the first botched one. conversation. Um, and then... <laughs> uh, but no, it's going to be... Um, a th like three to four episodes drop at the beginning. Then every other week, we're going to start bringing on guests, people who are friends of the brand, people that we know our listeners want to, or I say our listeners, we don't have any listeners yet. It's literally just you and I <laughs> listening to the test tracks of this. Um, Jana, who's a member of the staff as well, is also going to be on. Um, today, it's just me and Sean because of some logistical stuff. Um, and then we will... I'm assuming we'll do like announcements of like product stuff on here. Is that going to be part of what you want to do? You know, it's interesting to me. This is kind of like an extension of the Instagram live experience and, and everything you just said is perfect. Like we have these amazing conversations with professional athletes and subject matter experts and just personalities that bring a lot of knowledge to the table. And you're right. We're wasting that opportunity if we're only using it in a live setting on one platform that essentially goes away. So why not create a home for that content? And hey, if we have a great conversation, let's share it. If we have something where we're learning and sharing that learning, amazing. Uh, if we're just telling really bad jokes and maybe they're funny, cool. Um, or skip. You never know. But we need to have a more permanent home for it. So I totally agree with that. And, you know, just in the last week, I was chatting with, you know, Prime Hall and Don Tran, who are two Marine Raiders who have just gone on to found this amazing fitness protocol called Deep End Fitness. Um, we're buddies with Jason McCarthy and Jimmy Letchford over at GORUCK. And man, like talk about... Uh, absolutely stratospheric rise in the fitness world, bringing rucking to the world. Um, Michael Easter, an offshoot of them. Uh, Mike Vallely, professional skateboarder, who's a friend of ours. Um, Danny Way, another skateboarder. These are people that have amazing stories and backgrounds. Dr. Gabrielle Lyon, um, subject matter expert, MD, and amazing, um, you know, female doctor on the forward edge, like we're talking tip of the spear on protein and protein's importance um, in the diet and in human health. So, you know, from amazing sport activities all the way through 
um, you know, medical knowledge. This is a lot to talk about and share. And I mean, we're learning every day from these partners and these friends of the brand, friends of Bubs. And, you know, it's our job, I think, to share those conversations in a broader platform. So there, that's my two cents on why we're doing this. Yeah, that I, that's perfect. Because there's just a ton of people. You mentioned a ton of those. There's also just a ton of athletes that we've worked with in the past, With just they have that's one I'm interested in digging into is like, how did you get from being a whatever played football in high school to a CrossFit games athlete or one of the best power lifters in the world or whatever the yeah. thing is, or climbing mountains. Um, so we've got a ton of cool friends we can bring on. It's funny you, you say that. Cause like literally this morning on the drive in, I had a quick phone call with a friend of mine, Kevin Pierce and Kevin was a really like, amazing professional snowboarder he was one of the few half pipe riders that was taking out sean white and really had a spot pretty much on lock to go to the olympics when he ended up getting hurt in a tragic accident um in park city like major tbi took him out of professional snowboarding took him out of the olympics obviously and he was the guy like kevin pierce was the guy and he's working on his story and, and, and other stories around TBI and, and brain injury and brain health. And it's a, it's a phenomenal story. And I, I, I love talking to him about it. And then we're chit chatting and we're playing the name game. And then he references another guy that I know who lives in Carlsbad named Lonnie Paxton. And Lonnie Paxton, of course, is an NFL Super Bowl champion with my New England Patriots. Um, our kids play flag football in the same league. So I know Lonnie, you know, socially and, uh, you know, total bubs fan i'm like now there's two people that i would love to get on the other side of the mic to talk about their story and where they've been and what they've done and that's just quick banter back and forth on the drive into work so i'm excited like i think we're gonna have a ton of cool conversations with uh, some amazing people and uh and let's go but now that we've set the stage what should we make this first episode about I, <laughs> we've kind of turned it into like explaining <laughs> what it's going to be. I think we should have some fun and give away some stuff for the people who've gotten this far and listened to us. I think we should do like hit our DMS or whatever. Like the first 10 people that give us the code word in the DM, we send a tub of collagen to or something like that. Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll do better. Can I ask a trivia question yeah. that they can answer? And the correct answer will receive a tub of, of, of collagen. I like that. So, so let's, let's hit some guardrails on this one. Uh -huh. Shipments to the United States and Canada only. So for anyone in the UK or anyone answering correctly that is in Spain or Zimbabwe, no. Um, I'll send you an ebook, something cool, digital transfer. But uh, I'm not going to deal with product getting lost in the mail and having you get bummed out at us. However, if you're in the U.S. and Canada, you're fair game. All right. Now that I've set the ground rules, uh, my question, where did the name Cult of Recreationalism or Cult of Rec come from? That's a tough one. That's an easy one if you pay attention to anything that has to do with the Bubs brand and our heritage. I mean, that was a layup right there. I, I gave a layup on that. Are you, so are you asking like how it got started or like who founded it or what are you looking for in the who answer? Who was the originator of the name and entity, the cult of recreationalism? This I like is it. good for a tub of collagen. And by the way, we pay shipping. You just get the tub. And the cardboard box that it comes in. So you get a cardboard box <laughs> and a tub of collagen. There's a sticker that comes in those too. Always a sticker in the box. <laughs> That's are a you gonna, great gonna... value add. So, so let's do that. We, we've got that set. We know what we're giving away. We are giving away one tub of collagen, one sticker, and one cardboard box. If anyone can name the origin source of the cult of recreationalism. That, that, that makes perfect sense. Are you capping it at like 10 or 20 or what do you want to do there? You said 10. Don't go jump into 20. guy. I got a business to run over here. <laughs> Trying to give away your stuff. <laughs> okay. So the first 10, 
uh, the Bubs Do you think Instagram. 10 people actually are going to know that answer? That's my question. I mean, I, I, I'll be I excited know. if they do. This might be one of those, like, maybe three answer right away, and then, like, over the next few weeks, it trickles in. I don't know how this is going to work. This is all new. Yeah, we're going to find out. Um, you know what else I'm going to do is um, we're going to spice it up. Not right now, because that is our that's our giveaway. But on other days, we're going to give away stuff from our friends, our, our partner brands. We've got friends out there, and they make stuff, and we're going to give their stuff away. They make cool stuff. A limited edition Go Ruck backpack, anyone? Mm -hmm. That could be pretty sweet. Um, some authors, right, so, some good reads. So, so back on this, the way this podcast is going to run and is running is effectively there's three hosts. So let's talk about the three hosts. Um, Nathan? This podcast was your idea, and depending on who the guest is, you're going to be one of the hosts. Correct. And, and you're going to pick the guest that you know that you might want to interview. Like, let's say it's Kevin Ogar or you know um, a Matt Chan or someone amazing from the functional fitness space, which is a huge part of our brand. You might take on some of those guests and and drive a compelling interview. Is that fair? All right. I like so then you've so. got Jonna Ward. <laughs> now, Jonna is in the room right now. She just walked in the door. She may make a quick appearance lurking over my head. And if she does that, you're going to get to meet our second hostess. Hi, hi, hi. There we go. So that blurry whirlwind that just happened is Jonna. So Jonna brings a ton of personality to the table and happens to be a bit of an endurance specialist. Um, I would say that because she yogs a lot, a lot of, lot of the running stuff. And she's super active in that space and just knows a ton about, say, I don't know, cold therapy and running. Um, not together, because that'd be weird because you're in an ice bath, so you can't really run at the same time. But she practices what the brand preaches. So I think she's going to be a phenomenal host to have on the show. And me. I, I'll, I'll talk to some people, too. I like how don't, you're selling. Don't you're say like, over, too like, quick. You're kind of like, shit, that's right. We're <laughs> stuck with him. Hmm. Uh, that'll be fun. Oh, man. What was it I wrote on the doc when I was pitching this? Of like, here's the pros of having a podcast. Like, this kind of reach. This kind of this. Cons. The only one was we have to listen to Sean talk more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so there's that. Thanks. Um, but so I, and I'll interview, obviously like, look, I just name dropped Lonnie Paxton and, and Kevin. I would love to get them on the show. I would love to hear about their stories, their origins, life lessons learned along the way. Um, some funny stuff, you know, sprinkled in there, of course, uh, some of Glenn's former teammates. And, and I'm not going to call anyone out by name right now, but look at, there's a, a handful of awesome people that served in, you know, Naval Special Warfare that were SEALs that they're very colorful personalities and getting them on the show and talking a little bit about their worlds would be an absolute no brainer. So I think there's a lot of ammo here to start. And then the beauty of Bubs is that we meet new people like every week. And it just keeps adding to that potential guest list. So I'm fired up. I think it's going to be awesome to to put some content together and get it started. And I, I think that, to me, pretty well wraps up what would be the intro episode. Because I don't know yeah, what else you're I, supposed to talk about. We're going to give shit away. We're going to talk <laughs> to cool people. We're going to tell jokes that are hopefully funny. You're going to make fun of me. That's like a guarantee. Like um, right now how your camera's out of focus? That's not my fault. <laughs> Try tapping it. Does like tapping it like make it focus or anything? Or like, oh, oh, it kind of did. Put do this. Try putting your palm over it, like all the way over it, and then just pull back real fast. Ooh, I'm back. Ah, focus. There we go. That's the key. Huh. All right. Well, there you go. Uh -huh. I don't know much about this particular camera. What I can tell you is that my dirt cheap Amazon purchased. Logitech never blurs out and always stays in focus, albeit at a lower res. And this Opal C1 fancy guy camera 
um, clearly is overthinking its commitment to making me be in focus. It looks great right now. Yeah, right now. But a minute ago when I was on a rant, it, you know, I looked like a fuzzball. So go figure. Yeah. Cool. I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I'm yeah, not going to no. lose any sleep over that. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> um, so, all right. All right. So, so give away a bunch of stuff. Um, I didn't know about that. That was an unplanned add-in from your end. So uh, that's cool. I'm going to take that out of your very nominal base pay, and <laughs> we'll we'll give away a bunch of stuff, and we will have a bunch of cool people on the show. And between Jana, you, and myself, um, we're going to be talking to a whole bunch of crew, right? Yeah, that's the basics. Is that I like, like this a wrap? It does. Short and sweet. Here's what it's going to be. And then the next episodes are... No, today was, here's the things we're going to do. The next episodes is us doing the things. Ah, what are we going to do? Like, let's name the first thing we're going to do. Uh, first thing I wanted to do was just a, like, history of Bubs. How did Bubs get started? Okay. So it's actually going to be me and Jana interviewing you. Ooh. All right. Now, yeah. now this is this is sort of like 2017 till now. Like, how did this whole like concept get started? Yeah, like TJ's garage to, or like the conversation that when you're like, hey, it started with us talking about this. We moved to TJ's garage to now your office there and my office, quote unquote, in <laughs> my bedroom. <laughs> well, actually, my bedroom's on the other side of that wall. Well, well actually, the, you have two offices because occasionally you have a proper office at Method Fitness. Is I it do. Method I, CrossFit or Method Fitness? Method, it's either one. Method, it's The LLC is Method Fitness. My DBA is Method CrossFit. Got it. Okay, so yeah. point being, you have an office at your gym studio which is a real one but you can't really record a podcast in there because people are going to drop barbells and be loud and scream in the background yeah it's not as insulated as an environment so all right so the home office ends up doing the job yeah which this is just a tiny bedroom so there's is that no your bed. guest room or are you like in your roommate's bedroom right now and they're like waiting <laughs> to come in and like you know change their clothes <laughs> turn the camera down to sleep on the floor uh no, this is, it's just a tiny room. So I do have a roommate, Jeremy. He's in the, he, his room's in the basement. He was like, he pretty much has the whole basement to himself. So you've got a, you have a basement dweller. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I feel we're learning so much right now. <laughs> got a basement dweller. He, you, uh, you have a room upstairs that could be his bedroom. And instead you tuck Jeremy down in the basement. Well, there's, there's a bathroom and everything down there. So he has his own bathroom and all that. We share – there's like the living room of everything. We share all of that. But then like his room and bathroom and all that kind of stuff is downstairs. When you say bathroom, do you mean like there's like a hole chiseled out of the concrete in the ground where he can like, <laughs> you know, just do his business? Bathroom? Hole, hole is a generous term. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, he's got, a, he's got his, like a whole bathroom down there. So, okay, just making sure there's not shower. like here when you walk downstairs, you put the handcuffs and the gag ball on. It's like on the door as you walk down into the basement. Just checking in with you. No, no, not that. All right, good. <laughs> Probably edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so obviously we, now we're, we're, we're kind of rambling here, but we'll be rotating three different guests. The first episode, how we, got bubs launch like what was the what was the deal behind it um that's that's a good episode um anything else in the plans uh and then i also wanted to do just your background in history because every time i talk to you i learn something new about when you did x or how you know sean white and all this kind of stuff and so um i think a lot of people if people are listening this far into the podcast they know enough about your background that you we're a professional snowboarder, and then you're now obviously one of the co-founders of Bubs. I want to fill the gap in there and give that timeline. Ah, all right. Yeah, I mean, that non-linear of a journey as that was, yeah, we'll definitely get into it. I look forward to it. Um, uh -huh. Dude, this is amazing. I can't wait for the first two episodes, mostly because um, I'm going to be the one recording them. So then I won't ever have to listen to them afterwards because I'll, I'll know what I said, uh -huh. which will be perfect. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And then after that, can we start rotating in some more um, entertaining personalities, like some, some of these guests we 
we want to have on here. Let's get some of them going. We do. We've got a whole potential guest list that we've shared. And so we're going to start reaching out to those people and get them scheduled. Heck yeah. I look forward to it. Um, Nathan, the Cult of Rec brought to you by Bubs or the Bubs Cult of Rec show or the Bubs Cult of Recreationalism show or the Cult of Recreationalism show brought to you by Bubs. Maybe we should figure out which one uh, sounds the best because we know that the Bubs cast and the Bubs show got absolutely clipped. So they got, they got vetoed. I like the Bub show, but I also like cult of recreation. Cult of recreationalism is also awesome. I also have the shirt with the misprint still of the cult of recreationalationalismism. Yeah, or whatever it was. I still have that somewhere. So good. So that's what happens when you're moving so fast through business that you decide you want to make ten thousand stickers and a T-shirt that says the cult of recreationalism on the back. And you hand it to an artist, and the artist completely botches how to spell this made-up word, recreationalism, and you end up with recreationalismism, I think. And uh, no one spot checks it. No one spell checks it. No one even looks at it. We all just say, looks cool. And then two months later, we all sit around going, ooh, yeah, we can't really... You can't really do a lot with those 10,000 stickers now, can we? They look dope. They were just spelled wrong. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I took scissors on a few and I cut out the extra letters and removed them so that, you know. Just take a black marker, mark out the. (laughs) Sharpie 10,000 stickers. We needed an intern for that. That's, that was a mistake. We could have salvaged those. So cool. What are you going to do? All right. I think this is a good place to wrap it up for the first one. Let's wrap it up. Nathan, thanks so much. I'm super excited for the Cult of Rec show. And uh, let's do this. Sounds good. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.